Hey, Shalom Amakim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And um, today's lesson is going to go into how the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, all right, which Yahweh is who the world normally calls God, and his son is who the world normally calls Jesus Christ. And there's no God beside them. And we're going to see, you know, who the Lord is dealing with and who he isn't. Because here it is now. You have this upcoming Saturday. All right. Um, it is the same day that the government begins to evict people because of the uh, moratorium. Which the moratorium, for those who don't know, allow people to skip out on their rent, you know. Because of maybe a loss of job or a furlough from a job, because of this, uh, you know, this C, this C one, uh, pandemic that's going on in the world, and it has been backed up. You know, I believe it's actually supposed to end February this year, and then they pushed it back to June, and then now this is the last time they're gonna push it back. Which uh, this article is gonna go into. It says unprecedented spike in U.S. evictions looming. As ban expires. So it says. A federal ban on evictions. Is set to expire at the end of July. And this time is unlikely to be extended. Putting millions of renters at risk. The moratorium has been in place. Through much of the pandemic. But it's part of a wave of emergency programs ending. As the Delta variant fuels rising. C. One nine cases in the U.S. While some states, including California and New York, have their own eviction bans, the expiration of the Centers for the di for Disease Control and Prevention's moratorium has housing advocates worried about a surge in landlords forcing out tenants who have fallen behind on rent. Congress has allocated nearly forty-seven billion dollars in assistance, but so far. States and local jurisdictions have been slow to distribute the funds. You know, and I wonder why that is, man. We got to understand you're dealing with the devil. All right. And you have a lot of people who, you know, they know what's up with this, uh, this jabby jabble situation. And they're they not willing to take it. But at the same time, this devil is not going to continue to help you. You know, as the old saying goes, help me help you. You know. And um, through the spirit, I see, you know, that this devil is going to hold that over your head. Well, you're not vaccinated. You're, you know, you're not helping this society. All right. You're killing off our loved ones and our friends. Why should we help you? You know, and then it's going to be, it, you're going to really see, all right, how strong your reasoning is for not taking this vaccination. Okay. So it says Congress has allocated nearly forty-seven billion in assistance, but so far states and local jurisdictions have been slow to distribute the funds. All right, and um, as I also, you know, as I mentioned that I was thinking about as a reader, I was thinking about how you had this, um, this with the guy De Blasio, you had um, uh, who was it Cuomo, who they made the uh, statements of how. I want to say, I believe it's just the Basio, all right? But one of the head officials out there in New York, nonetheless, said that those that don't want to be, you know, vaccinated, we're going to have to come to your house and take you to a facility and watch you get vaccinated, you know? And that's nothing more than a, uh, you know, a, 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 a concentration camp, all right? So it's about to get real bad out here, and... It's going to be riots. It's going to be uproars. The scriptures talk about uproars of the people. Just as it is in Europe. As they know what time it is. So a lot of them is not with it. And the government over there. Alright. Being Edomites as well. So called white people. Are taking away their so called rights. Taking away their uh, so called liberties. Alright. So how much more for a so called third world country like America. That has also been awarded certain liberties man and more so 
since this uh this pandemic has started. You know, people are actually make it more now than when they did sitting home. And the scriptures say that, man. Such as what's that scripture? You know, because scoffing is about to die out too. A lot of this scoffing bullshit. You know? This is a scripture, um, Second Ezra is nine. And um nine, then shall they be in pitiful case which not have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. You know? And they only turn our people only turn to the most high when they are in trouble. They only turn to whom they call um God. Alright, they only turn to something spiritual when they're in trouble. The first thing they say is, oh God. You know? So, but now and they don't feel like they're in trouble. You know, as the brother, um, there's a brother in the camp. He's talking about over there in New York, how Jake doing it up, man. Alright, even over here you see a bunch of paper tags. Alright, so however they doing it, they 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 getting this money, man. You know, mining nicest beam beamers and you know, Maybachs and Infinities, all all types of nice cars you see on, on the road now. You know? So they living it up. They have received benefits. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open to them, understood it not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Alright? And the Most High has ways of cutting you, i.e. Esau Edom, which is the Lord's sword. Okay, when we go into Revelation 13, it speaks about how, you know, he ruled the people, ruled the world, all right? The beast ruled the people into his image, first starting off with miracles. And then when that didn't work, he just came out full-fledged devil, man. So that's what it's coming down to, man. All right, he's just going to come out full-fledged devil, all right? So let's go back into the article as it says, uh, to understand what may happen next. Bloomberg talked to housing expert Ingrid Gold Ellen, a New York University professor who has studied federally funded emergency rental assistance programs during the pandemic. We've been talking about an eviction crisis since the start of the pandemic, but it hasn't happened yet. Do you think we're posed to see one soon? Why or why not? And the scriptures say, man, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. The hearts of many is setting them to do, you know, to to uh to just keep on with their wickedness, man. You know, because the most high hasn't judged you, you'll continue to mock the prophets. Alright, but let's see who's gonna be mocking now. And the scriptures say in Proverbs 1 that the most high shall laugh when your calamities come because you you know you because basically you laughed at his word, he's gonna laugh at your calamities. Okay? But there are still, it hasn't yet. It hasn't happened yet because of moratoriums, federal assistance, and uncertainty among landlords about finding new tenants. But there are still a lot of renters behind on rent, and some of them are far behind on rent and at risk of losing their homes, especially if they reach the end of their lease. The Census Pulse survey suggests that 16% of renters owe back rent. This is down from a peak of over 20% in January. But a lot of renters are still facing hardships, particularly renters of color and renters with children. All right. Which leads into Jacob's trouble. Renters of color is talking about you so-called blacks and Hispanics. All right. You was already buying so-called eight ball prior to this thing started. You know, having to work two, three and four jobs to make ends meet. OK, it says. Particularly renters of color and renters with children. Nearly one in four black renters, all right, which the blacks are the so called Jude, I mean, well, the Judites are the so called blacks, are the Af so called African Americans, rather. Uh, nearly one in four black renters report being behind on rent. So that's 25%. And a key will be. Whether the hundreds of states and local emergency rental assistance programs around the country can get these funds out the door quickly enough. 
the hardest to reach renters are also the most vulnerable to eviction. And that group is large enough to cause an unprecedented spike in eviction filings, warrants, and ultimately homelessness if we don't remain focused on getting them and their landlords the assistance Congress has made available. When the CDC eviction moratorium expires, what do you expect evictions to climb the most? I would expect evictions to rise the most in places where housing costs are high or climbing. Demanding is, demand is strong and tenant protections are low. All right, where's that the hood? That probably means the Sun Belt in the southeastern U.S., though they are likely to be widespread increase. The economy is bouncing back. Who needs rental assistance in the U.S. now? The majority of jobs lost has been in industries that pay low average wages and disproportionately employ renters. And a Delta variant spike poses a new, a renewed threat. Our research on, on rent arrears in New York City suggests that the greatest need is concentrated among a small group of households, many of whom were already struggling before COVID, uh, before hit. As with so many issues, there are troubling racial disparities. Black and Hispanic households are more likely to have lost employment and therefore to be behind on rent. Read that again. As with so many issues, there are troubling racial disparities. Black and Hispanic households are more likely to have lost employment and therefore to be behind on rent. This is Joe. I mean, no, not Joe. I think it's in Ezekiel. Thing was that precept, uh, get an oldie but goodie, Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask ye now whether a man doth travail with child, wherefore do I see every man with his loins, on, with his hands on his loins, and he, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And who is that he? The one that turned back from his wickedness to righteousness. The one that took heed to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah in his words. Isaiah 65 and, and 11 is that he, the Lord's servant. All right. The one that believed in the word and the one that was out there preaching. All right. And utilizing his word in his daily life and walking circumspectly. Salaki. Welcome circumspectly with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Okay, so it's the time of coming to where the Most High is going to free us from this bondage, but, you know, two-thirds are not going to see it that way. All right, they're still going to, the hey, scriptures say, Hosea, I believe that's in Hosea. All right, um, you shall bring forth your, 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 uh, 
your, your children to the murderer. Isaiah 30 says, uh, Curse is he that trusteth in Egypt and maketh, you know, Egypt his arms, roughly paraphrasing. Jeremiah 17. Okay. So basically, the time is coming to where if you don't have a spiritual relationship with your how about Shimi how shy, you out of there, man. You know, you out of there. You're gonna fold, you're gonna take the vaccination, you're gonna take the RFID chip, and then you're gonna take a missile. Okay? And it's all because you didn't repent and turn from your wickedness. So, when these things start to happen and you say why, just think about the men of the Lord that you scoffed. Alright? The times you walk past the camps. So it says, how important is it to landlords that this money get dispersed? It's essential, especially for mom and pop landlords who own a small number of properties. For small landlords, the funds are likely to be critical for preventing default, property tax arrears, forced sales, or cuts in repairs and maintenance. How quickly has the government been able to distribute distribute the money and what and will the $47 billion that Congress allocated be enough? Estimates of need suggest the $47 billion will likely be sufficient if they can get out if they can get it out of the door quickly. But again, the slow pace has been worrisome. All levels of government need to work together to get the money out quickly and to strongly encourage or require where possible landlords to apply for rental assistance before filing an eviction. Rents are soaring across the U.S. right now. How do you think that will impact the government's effort to avoid an eviction crisis? It will likely be more difficult to limit evictions in places with rising rents, as landlords will have great incentive to find new tenants willing to pay higher rents. Plus, rent increases will make it more difficult for renters who do lose their homes to find new places to live. You see? So this is not going to be good. This is really not going to be good. All right. If you don't have your how about shimmy how shit on your side, your ass is grass, man. You know, so that's okay. You know what's going on here. Yeah, I ain't dealing with that shit. So anyway, you know, the point is pretty much made, man. These people are about to lose out. And we'll see. We'll see um, if things get uh, extended. Which it was a portion in the article that I read that, uh, you know, they were saying they highly doubt it. All right. And again, I believe through the spirit that this devil is going to hold out that $47 billion to those that, you know, to those that didn't get vaccinated. All right. Which is a good majority you know, if you so-called blacks and Hispanics know what time it is, man. You ain't you ain't with that shit. All right, but this is um, what's that? Psalms thirty-seven. In 25, I have been young and now old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed baking bread. All right. So we are, we are, um, especially over, us over here at Great Millstone. And I say especially us because, you know, here it is. The Lord didn't come in 2000. You had a lot fall out, but then you had certain men that still stay strong. They, they, they held on to their patience. All right. So we are men. All right. Of faith, of course. But we also understand that. The Lord is going to come on his time. So we are men. That's willing to wait on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Nevertheless, the scriptures say. I have been old and I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Proverbs 10 and 3 tells us that um, the Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. 
depart from evil and do good and do well forevermore. For Yahweh love of judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. All right. And um, we don't know how the Lord is going to do it, but we know he's going to look us out some way, shape or form. But two thirds, man, you, you know, it's not looking good for you, man. It's really not. So if you want to continue to scoff, you know, you want to continue to make parodies against men of the Lord. You want to continue to, to, you know, call upon your false gods. And stuck be and remain stuck and stupid. Well, we'll see how that works out for you. Alright. But judgment is on its way. Hey, so if that shalom to the elect.